How's it going YouTube? Um, I'm making this video to compare the two griddles that I own. Um, I started off with the Blackstone griddle and I, I completely loved it, you know. Griddle cooking is so much better. Um, but there are some flaws that, that I noticed that that were causing me some issues. Um, I have this on my back patio usually and um the grease the grease trap is is what made me go look out for another griddle and luckily i was able to find another one and it's called the camp shaft flat top grill if you can see and it is a four burner griddle it's a direct competitor with blackstone um this i think has solved everything that i've had issues with the blackstone to be honest with you um the camshaft is a little bit smaller, um, but that's not going to be a problem. It's just me and my wife, and I think it's plenty big enough, to be honest. But I will uh, do a little overview of each grill. This has been pretty well seasoned. I, I use it on a daily basis. I, I prefer not to cook inside, and I cook outside most of the time. And here is a camp chef. And this I've yet to cook on, but as you can tell, it, it came pretty well seasoned to be honest with you. As far as color wise, this is black. When I got the black then it was a light gray. But, um, the difference between the two let's see obviously I think Cam Chef has a better design on the grease trap um, they have a little nipple which is supposed to direct the grease down below and unlike the Blackstone where it when I get grease it kind of just goes in trickles underneath and down the entire side and all over my concrete another big difference is how deep this well is on uh, the Blackstone compared to the Camp Chef. This is so much deeper. I think I'm really going to like this a lot. Um, and if you want to collapse this shelf, um, you're going to have to take off this grease tray which just slides on the screw here. Let me set you down and show you. Okay, and then um, here's this matchstick holder, for some reason you can't get it to light. You can put a match at the, the end of that. It's pretty bent on the tip. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to come or not. And on the Blackstone, I don't recall having that. Let's see if I can put these shells up with one hand. going pretty easy um, another thing I loved about about this one over the Blackstone um, give me a second put this grease tree back is the grease trap is on this side versus the Blackstone it's on the opposite side most people would think oh it doesn't matter which side it is but to me it does the reason being is because if I'm cooking for myself I'd like to kind of cook closest to the grease trap so I'm not getting the rest of the griddle completely dirty. Well, I can't cook on this side. In order for me to, to turn these on, this one has to come on and push the igniter here and then turn all these on and then turn these off and then I have these on. With the Blackstone, they're completely independent. Every one of these has a built-in um, spark to them as you can see versus the black zone doesn't it uses a battery and the camp chef does not um, another big difference is the shelves as you can see the blackstone only has one and the camp chef comes with two 
Um, let's see what other big differences. As you can also, another difference between the Blackstone and the Camp Chef is the Blackstone has four wheels. It has two casters and two stationaries. So it's a lot easier to move around and these casters lock obviously versus the Camp Chef. Has two really good rubberized hard uh, wheels and just little pegs there. And to be honest, as far as mobility wise, the Blackstone has them beat, but I prefer the Camp Chef's version. The reason being is because my patio is a little sloped, as it should be, for the water to run down on the concrete. And I can actually level this griddle. There's two levelers underneath the griddle here that you just screw up and down. And then these pegs below will screw up or screw down, depending on how level you need it. Blackstone, there is no leveling to it, so you're kind of at its mercy. Um, I was reading that people were having issues with a lot of wind blowing out their flame or causing it to go haywire because of how thick this is here. Well, on the, on the camp chef, it is actually enclosed to the complete vents. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see if I can come around. As you can see, a lot, a lot better there. And on the back, it has even more vents to vent out. On here, it's just completely open. And what I like about the Blackstone griddle top is it has a carrying handle. Blackstone does not. And I'm not dogging on the Blackstone. I actually love my Blackstone. But all these little, all these little differences between the two are are just so much better as far as what Camp Chef did to fix some of the issues with the Blackstone. Um, this is just a plain griddle by itself. If you want it to barbecue and use it as a grill, you're gonna have to buy the grill box, and that's usually about 100 to 140, depending on where you get it. With the Camp Chef, it's built in. I will uh, take off the griddle top here in a second to show you underneath that if I don't want to use a griddle and I want to grill hot dogs or or whatever, you know, um, all I got to do is take the top off and it's automatically a, a grill. So let me go ahead and uh, see if it's cooled down. I just uh, heated it up and threw some oil on there, so it's still a little warm. But let me get some gloves on and take it off. And what I'll do is, the Blackstone is a little bigger, so what I'll do is I'll grab... Uh, the camp chef's griddle top and stick it on top of the blackstone to for you guys to see the size comparison All right, I took second. the griddle top on here and the grates stay on with the the deflectors as well And it turns right into a grill and the, the blackstone does not Another thing as you can see the shelves are a lot higher. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not because I've yet to cook on it but I guess time will tell and comparison between the two griddle tops give me a second let me wheel this out to the light a little better for you guys to see all right I wheeled it over here to the light and you can see it's it's a good size you know big big difference in my opinion um, that's four burgers, you know, there. Uh, let's get a side view. Almost the same. As you can see the grease trap extends out a little more versus the Blackstone, but uh, if you compare the two, you can see that this has been seasoned. Obviously not the outside, but look at the color difference. all right well i think that's the only differences between the two and um the propane tanks on the left on the blackstone and on the camp ship it's on the right but i believe it's because of the, of the way the grease trays are set up but if uh 
I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with uh, the Camp Chef, just because it's, I think it solves all the problems that I've had with the Blackstone. And the fact that I can turn it into a barbecue grill without having to buy another attachment is kind of a, a big bonus as well. But uh, like I said, time will tell which one turns out to be better, but I have high hopes for this uh, Camp Chef. Um, I'm going to cook on it a couple times and if it turns out to be what I think it's going to be, then I'll just probably give this Blackstone to my, my mom. She, she loves the griddle. You know, they come over for dinner all the time and I'm always on it and it feeds a lot of people, but you know, I think the, the flat top grill will, will do the same. But um, yeah, another, the way the, the propane holders are, I just noticed as well. Um, they're just a little hook down below and a little hook down up top as well. And with the Blackstone, it has this big, huge contraption. It has this big, huge contraption here, and um, you can see, and from what I've been reading, I have yet to do it, but it turns out that these legs on the Blackstone, they, they fold up, but people say with the, the, the propane holder that they can't fold the legs up and lock them into place, so I don't know if that's true or not. I've yet to do it. Um, Mobility-wise, the camp shift ain't going anywhere. Um, they're, they're, it's set with screws, and unless you have a trailer or RV with you know a toy hauler or something to strap it down, um, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I would just I'd be home unit. If anything, I would, if you want to take it out, I, I would, I'd probably go with the Blackstone. But I, I don't plan on having to take either one of these out. So to me, it, it's, it's not an issue. You know. Um, I've yet to get a cover for that. Um, I, I don't feel like spending 50 some dollars on the cover for that's made to go with this. So I'll see if I can find something generic. And the Blackstone, I actually bought the Blackstone cover, but the cover's garbage to be honest, guys. Um, I had a Weber Q, my, my barbecue grill in the back has been out there for three years with the same cover and it looks brand new. Um, the Blackstone, I bought the cover in April and we're now in September. And the cover's completely faded and really bad. And I actually have to prop this up here with these 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 cups in the middle. The reason being is because when it rains and stuff, um, all the weight kind of kind of pushes down in here, and then this rust really really bad. So the only way I found out to avoid the, the water settling is but making kind of a teepee so the water just kind of slides through it still gets a little rusty but nothing compared to what it was and i don't think that's a blackstone's fault i think it's just the way it is and there's no no way around that just because i keep these outside during during the summer and spring and bring them in the garage i actually stack them up there with the traeger and the blackstone uh pizza oven and I got my boat uh, Weber Q in the back there, the, the 1200, and then in the backyard I got the new Weber Q2200. Just because I don't like cook, cooking hot dogs on these griddles, um, I prefer them to be, be on the grill, and it's just it's a lot easier. And I, I love the portability of both of them. They collapse real easy, and they're, they're, I can take them wherever I need to. So um, I think that's, that's it to this video, guys. If you want to learn anything or want me to show you guys anything up close on the camp shop, I'd highly recommend it by just the, the features and the improvements it looks like compared to, to the Blackstone. But um, time will tell, like I said, and um, I think that's it. Um, oh, before I go, this I think I bought for like $270 and... Uh, the Camp Chef varies from $350 to $500 depending on where you get it. I actually had to order it online through a sports, a Sportsman's Warehouse uh, because nobody locally, Cabela's, Dick's, um, Sportsman's, um, none of those places had it in stock and um, I, bought it, I bought it this last uh, week and it was a Labor Day sale. So it was a uh, marked Sportsman's Warehouse has it the cheapest marked at $350 and uh, every once in a while you see pop up $50 off if you spend so much and so I got $50 off so I got this for 
and then this was 270 but I also got a military discount um, I wasn't able to get the military discount until I actually went and picked it up and and asked them if they can give me my discount which they did so I ended up getting it for they're both about the same price and you you know if price wasn't it was a factor and I could get them for both the same price it'd be the camp ship but if I wanted to save a few bucks there's I would I would go with the Blackstone there's nothing wrong with it and it's, it's an amazing amazing griddle but just these little things you know some people's like oh I'll just put a paper clip here or something and bend it down and it runs down and uh, I am a strong believer that if I'm going to spend my hard-earned money that I shouldn't have to do any modifications to the to the product that it should already come and that's what the what the the camp chef did so uh the burners I th uh they're a little bit smaller they're 12,000 bt versus 15 I 15 or 16,000 on on the blackstone but <laughs> I never cook cook over medium so bt's don't matter to me to be honest um you, you would never cook that hot to begin with you'd burn everything and um but yeah all right guys well i'm gonna wrap up this video here um give you one last look of the front a nice little stainless that they added right around and the quality of the buttons are just so much better and i just think the build overall the the camp chef is superior to the blackstone but this is my first love and i can't say any can't say any bad things i try not to you know both the girls are are good looking grills but um all right guys well you guys have a nice day or night depending on what time you guys are watching this and i'll let you go